What's going on guys? I'm your coach to the Portland Trail Blazikins, and this is the replay to my week one battle for the IBL season four. Uh, it was against the Dark Cave Dark Rise. This is his team, uh, Tornaeus T, Zereora, Araquanid, Shaman, Bronzong, Licky Licky, Primate, Mega Garchomp, Togekiss, Garbodor, Lycanroc, Midday Form, and then Tyranitar. His Z users were Tornadus T, uh, Zereora, and Lycanroc. So, this coach has quite the reputation in this league. Uh, he won season two and three, and he has been undefeated since last time I played or I beat him in season two, and then he beat me in season three. Um, though my win against him meant nothing because he continued to just win the the season anyways. Um, so, a phenomenal battler. His drafting is usually just. Uh, the bulkiest offense you can really create. Uh, he decided to go a little bit different this season around. Um, a little bit more offensive. Use some mons he doesn't use all the time. I guess I shouldn't say offensive because he usually tosses some threats in there. Um, but really a great battler. Super um, consistent. He doesn't really uh, make any huge misplays. He's just down and dirty. Gonna whittle you down and usually beat you. Um, pretty handily because he keeps his Pokemon healthy. But either way, um, some threats that I saw, like Tornadus is a great Mon. Uh, it's faster than my entire team and puts down a lot of damage. It's got Regenerator, U-Turn, Knockoff, Hurricane, Heat Wave, which will be uh, uh, like annoying to my Mega Mawile. Um, Zeriora is even faster. <laughs> it's, an even, uh, it's a huge threat to my team, and so I had to prep very carefully for it. Araquanid, um, Sticky webs, maybe. It doesn't seem like that big of a threat, but Shaman could do some pretty large damage in terrain if he went with some uh, seed, seed flares. Yeah, that's the move, right? Especially if he gets like negative two drops. Really, just that could do a ton of damage. Um, Bronzong and Licky Licky are his main two walls. Garbodor could be, but not really. Primeape is a very well possible for him to bring because I have Sultali. And so, like, Defiant could get proc'd twice on a parting shot, which would be wild. Um, but either way, I digress. So, I guess I don't really need to look at his team super deeply. Um, he was my team. So, I, I have Choice, Bandit, Bulu. They're the only Mon, really, on his team that could take two Bandit hits is Bronzong. Uh, and I've got Mega Horn for it. So, really, Bulu... Uh, was teed up to do a ton of damage in this game. Really just come in, put up terrain, start throwing out wood hammers, and he has no switch ins. On that note, I have Mega Mawile, another mod with zero to no switch ins. Play rough plus knockoff could take on his entire team. I had Sucker Punch in case um, later in the game I've got things whittled down, so I just chip him and Sucker Punch them out so they can't attack me. And then Swords Dance in case I can get a setup opportunity against something like Licky Licky or Bronzong. Uh, Hydreigon. I wanted to go with um, a Steelium Z for his Togekiss because Dark Pulse otherwise is great against his entire team, especially like Bronzong. Licky Licky, Licky, Licky kind of walls it, um, and if he chose to bring that, um, he'd pretty much get free Wish Passes off. So U-Turn, I wanted to keep on that over like Roost and Draco Meteors for Mega Garchomp. So that's kind of what my mindset was for Hydreigon, was just to be complimenting to help him get rid of Bronzong so Tapu Bulu can just start throwing out wood hammers. Besides that, he's just a nice pivot to get me into mods I want. Next, we have Slowbro, who is kind of interesting here. So, Scald, Ice Beam, Toxic, and Counter um, with a Wakan Berry. So, this is almost my uh, Zereora answer <laughs> in a way. Um, I'm hoping that Slowbro brings in Zereora and then the Wakan Berry pl pops on like a Plasma Fist and then I counter it back and take him down. This is also useful against like Tyranitar if he tries to trap me with Pursuit. Um, I'm just going to click Counter because I'm going to live a Crunch or Pursuit and then Counter is going to do a lot of damage back. So I didn't want to use Colbur because I don't want to reduce the damage of the knockoff or the Pursuit or the Crunch. Like knockoff from Tornadus for example. Um, so stuff like that. And then Wakan would make sure that I live like even like the Bandit Adamant choice. Yeah, Zereora if you felt like doing Plasma Fist like that. Um, next I have Needle King. I thought about choice scarfing, um, Silva or not Silva Holly, uh, Tapu Bulu, but I, I decided to go Needle King because he could also outspeed Zeri Aura, 
and I had to use Earth Power because with Terrain, and I needed to have Earth Power for Zeriora, so I couldn't do um, Physical Set Needle King. But then Earthquake Bolt Beam, that's going to take on his entire team, plus Sludge Wave for better coverage against Togekiss, or a better like spammable move if Bronzong's gone. And again, um, with Hydreigon and Mawile, I should be able to get Hydreigon chipped pretty quickly into the game. Um, and then finally, oh, I guess I can't really... Uh, hold up. Let me shrink this. There we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then Silvali Grass. Um, that's kind of like my shaman answer because HP poison would absolutely mop the floor with Tapu Bulu. And so I need something that can at least only take a quarter of the damage, get like a or half the damage, and then get like a parting shot off or a U-turn. U-turns there in case he brings uh, Primate. Defog's there for um, sticky webs and ice beams there just for general coverage. It does a lot to his team. Um, and so that's my team. Max Spadef, max HP again. I just needed that for uh, something along the lines of Shaman. Seed flaring me to death. Um, and this is a post-com, actually, because I accidentally stopped the recording in the middle of the battle. <laughs> so uh, here we go. <laughs> um, so he actually brought Togekiss, Garchomp, Bronzong, Tornadus, Araquanid, and Licky Licky. So, similar mons to what I expected. I thought Shaman might come, and I, and I thought Zarya might come. So, four of the six. I didn't think Licky Licky and Araquanid really had a place here because uh, I put too much physical pressure down for Licky Licky to really do a lot, and then Araquanid, unless he wanted to go Sticky Webs, just isn't doing too much. And so I thought, but it, all, it does get really good coverage as well. Um, so, because of him not having. Uh, Tyranitar and him not having Zeriora, I thought it'd be okay to just lead Slowbro, assuming he's going to lead uh, Tornadus. And so, yeah, let's just jump into it. He, so I lead my Slowbro, and he does, in fact, lead Tornadus. And so I was like, okay, so he's either going to U-turn or knock off, and so I'm just going to go for my counter. And he knocks off my Wakan, which is completely useless this battle anyways, and I take, you know, 50, 58% off of him. At this point, I was like, I know he can't stay in with Tornadus, so I might as well go uh, fire off a Toxic. Or, uh, excuse me, a Scald, because I'm assuming Bronzong's going to be the mon that he brings in. And so, I go with the Scald. And I was really fishing just for a burn, because to counteract like the, the lefties or whatnot. And it turns out, I don't get the burn, and he's also not lefties. <laughs> and so... At this point, I was like, well, this is a completely free switch into Die Dragon. And he kind of saw that, and so he protects with Licky Licky in case I'm maybe Scarf or just a Scout. And so I'm still going to go for that U-turn as he's probably going to wish. Uh, and sure enough, he does wish. And so at this point, I could either predict back into Bronzong, or if he doesn't think that my Bulu is banded, uh, maybe he thinks it's Scarf, then... Tornadus would actually live the Woodhammer and then get the Wish back up. And so I knew I had to go Woodhammer just because I couldn't risk him going back into Tornadus. But he does make the much more middle ground play and goes right out into Bronzong. And he shows that he's Rocky Helmet as well. And so now Bulu gets a little bit of grassy train back. But this just means, okay, I'm just going to go out into Silvali. A little bit more of a middle ground play. I didn't want to go back into Hydreigon in case he was going to go Licky Licky. And then, you know, the whole process all over again. And so it's like, okay, I'm going to go out into Silvali. And then I'm going to get a parting shot, shot off so I can try and get back into, like, Mawile or maybe um, Bulu again. And so at this point, I just did, went Bulu. I could have went Mawile and started to break with Sword Stance. Which, uh, retrospectively, would have been a much better play. But here, now he doesn't have the Wish. But he did finish off the terrain those are the five turns and so i knew that if i would hammered with bulu again uh, i was only going to do like 35 percent to the to the bronzong and so it'd be better for me to switch into hydreigon because i knew it was going to be coming out and so i could fire off either a dark pulse or a u-turn for free and so i do decide to go for dark pulse um probably a little it, it wasn't the best play admittedly i probably should have went u-turn because I, he there's no way he's going to stay in the bronzong i was putting too much pressure down on him with bulu but this was exactly what my plan was, was to start chipping early. But he, this was a really nice play on his part. He doubled into Tornadus. And so now it was Bulu versus Tornadus. He managed to not allow me to just click Woodhammer on another mod having to switch in. And so I actually have to make the double. And I get to go out into Slowbro. He U-turns, which 
it, it crits, but it doesn't really make a difference. Um, because I'm just gonna be switching right out. And I switch out the Needle King, so I thought if he's um nasty plot, I can at least do a lot of damage to him and then revenge him. If he's support set, he can't thunder wave me here. Uh, and air slash shouldn't do too much. And so I switch in the Needle King. He actually does 48, and so this is an offensive Toga Kiss, which I didn't actually expect, but that's okay. Um, and at this point, I just fire off a Thunderbolt because that's like the most middle ground, and he switches into a Raquinid that's clearly Assault Vest. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, Slowbro, super free here. Um, a Raquinid cannot be special. It has to be, like, it's going to be offensive. And so I get to go on to Slowbro, and I get to fire off a Toxic because I'm not going to, you know, scald the Water Bubble. Um, and so it turns out he also has Giga Drain, so I can't just, like, counter, um, play after play after play. And I go into Silvali, and he does another Leech Life, which was a great predict on his part that he knew I wasn't going to click counter that time. And so, um, my Silvali took a big chunk of damage, but here I got to go with, um, another parting, parting shot, which was super nice. I could have went for Ice Beam at this point, but here I get to finally get Mawile in, which is super, super nice. I get Mawile in, and I just click play rough. Something's going to die here. <laughs> it was pretty much the situation. So I fire off a, pr a play rough, which does 28 to Bronze Zone. And then the Rocky Helmet damage, but I knew that knockoff would then just finish it off. Fantastic. So Mawile got a kill, and he goes out into Garchomp. This is his Mega. And so I was like, okay, I have to go out into Slow Bro. Um, you know, super neutral play. And he goes for Stealth Rocks. He made a nice predict. And. I fire for Toxic, so he's he's definitely trying to get some some momentum back on me, um, and he definitely he definitely managed to do that. And so he goes for the Giga Drain. Well, I think I went for Counter here. Yep. Um, and this is an interesting place because he can Leech Life, but I counter him, and he can Giga Drain to get health back. But Toxic is gonna rack up versus that Giga Drain way more than like if you're the Leech Life, for example. But so now I'm at 67%. Last time this is when I switched out, but I was like I'm just gonna counter again. And he Giga Drains again. <laughs> and then at this point, I was like, he, he has to think I'm going to switch out because I'm at 47%. Like, if I I need to hold him for, like, Mega Gar Garchomp or something. But um, I knew, so I had to play on that prediction. And I was like, I'm just going to counter. And he actually went for Liquidation instead of Leech Life or Poison Jab. I did think about going into Tapu Bulu, but I knew that he had to have Jab. And so I didn't want to make that, that risk. And so I clicked Counter. Uh, brought him way down, and then at this point, I get to go out into Silvali Grass, and regardless of what happens, um, I claim a Raquinid. And so now Silvali is at 3%, and he's just going to go into Torn and Revenge Me with Knockoff. I clicked Ice Beam just in case, but I, at that point, I didn't want to be switching into anything else, um, so I just sacked him off. At, and at this point in the game, I'm feeling pretty good. However, Licky Licky's still there to be wish passing, but besides that, he has three ice weaknesses. Um, and so if I can really get Needle King in, I can start doing damage, but Torn's at 100%, so I, I'm unable to, to work at that point in time. I need to have Rocks up before I can start going with Needle King to just start Ice Beam spamming, but I also need Licky Licky gone. And, um, however... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> however, I do go Needle King. Um, because, 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 if Neo King got the Ice Beam off, that's, like, it brings Torn to, like, 30%, and then Mawile can start chipping with Play Rough again, or Sucker Punch to thread out the Tornadus. So, I thought that that would be okay to, to sack off Neo King at this point, just for that enormous chip, and if he chooses to go, um, but then I was like, you know what, maybe I should just double into Slowbro and get myself some regenerator back and so that's what i do so it's kind of me changing my mind but yeah i mean it made it made sense what i was thinking about but it's also silly to throw away my speed control in or like my the fastest mod on the field being needle king with the scarf and so i double into a slow bro who already has his wakan knocked off and then i go into hydreigon because now he's gonna either knock off or air slash or what have you um, we've now seen three of his moves. I know that that last one's going to be easy. Heat Wave. He doesn't have Zareora, and he doesn't have, um, Lycanroc. So, it's going to be Z Torn. And so, I thought maybe I could go for a Draco. But instead, I just go for Z Flash Cannon in case he feels like going into Togekiss. So, I kind of regret not going 
the, the Draco there, but then I U-turn here because I know, knew that he was going to U-turn to get his health back. And then I finally get Bulu back in, and I guarantee myself another kill. Because that Togekiss's support, or uh, Scarf, well, not Scarf, it's offensive, not defensive, or like a support set. And so, pretty much I click Band here. Banded Woodhammer is going to kill something. And so he lets Licky Licky go down. And I take 39% of recoil, but I bring back 6. And so now we're at this point in the game, and um, we, we have Hydreigon that's at 13%. Bulu I want to um, keep because Garchomp's still alive, and so I want to have the terrain up for Mawile versus Garchomp matchups, even though he's probably going to have Fire Blast. Uh, or at least that's kind of my mind. So then at that point, we switch into Hydreigon, and we just sack it off to Tornadus. Bring me back in Nidoking, who can kill at this point. So it makes sense, he just sacks off torn um, Garchomp from the Ice Beam. And now uh, Tornadus is back at this. Now, this point in the game, this is a big play because I could have went, or did I skip too far? I did. Um, there on that switch, I could have Ice Beamed, again, brought him down to like 25 to 30%, and then threatened him out with Mawile Sucker Punch, where I would have then um, probably gotten an SD into play rough on Mawile and sucker punch on torn would always kill i think and then i'd never have to worry about the heat wave but i did decide to just keep neo king around and switch back into bulu get the terrain up one more time and essentially sack him off because he's he's got that air slash um so he doesn't even have to worry about missing a hurricane and so now here we get slow bro in and it's like i can either ice beam or i can toxic but i just decide to toxic because I don't need that much chip on um, on the burb. And he goes for another air slash. I'm just racking up toxic damage on him. And I go back in the slow bro to bait out the Z fire. Um, he he I talked about this this play after with Dark, and he decided or he he mentioned that he probably should have went with the Infernal Overdrive the turn prior, which almost was a guarantee knockout. It was been like a one percent chance for me to live. Um, and this would have been a much more inter uh, I think I then would have had the max roll with Needle King. Um, but either way, so then I just go slow bro and let this bad uh, that this bad boy go down. Get to go into Needle King and click Ice Beam or Sludge Wave here because this Toga Kiss can't do anything to me to kill me, and I just get Sludge Wave and then Sucker Punch would have killed even if he did knock me out, and then um, that's a GG. So a ton of credit goes to Darkrai. He's a fantastic battler. Like I said, he was undefeated for like 20-some games. <laughs> uh, it, it feels good to beat him because this team is an interesting one to say the least for me. It's very much straddling the line of like bulky offense and hyper offense, depending on if I bring like a Zelf versus Slowbro, for example. Um, and against a team that has like Licky Licky with Wish Passing, it's just, um, it definitely had chances to go south very quickly. I'm sad to see that he at least saw my Wakanberry, so if we see him, or if I have to play him later down the line in like playoffs, for example, um, a lot of my gimmicks are shown, which is unfortunate, but I, I can always think of new sets, don't get me wrong. Um, but a ton of credit for Darkrai, he's a fantastic battler, uh, super great guy too, um, nothing but love goes my way, or his way from me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. I did the team builder all in one with this. Uh, this video if you want a separate video I, i'd at least think about it <laughs> uh, this one just kind of popped up because the ibl we just started like in the middle of the week after the draft and so i just we're battling early f uh like in the week and so i just didn't make a team builder i certainly can moving forward uh just this time i didn't so tell me what you guys think uh, i'd love to hear any feedback but we're starting off 1-0 and and so i hope that this is a, a good sign for things to come hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later